So I hope you understood that ki why I made the video of this particular question. This question was asked at the two places. Of course, the same question I used to ask in the classroom also. Ki the value of cos theta can be greater than 1. And I especially told the team who are typing the question ki mention this line. Ki read question carefully before answering. Why? Because I don't want that ki to create just trick kind of things. You should read what exactly question I am asking. I am asking cos theta can be greater than 1. Is it true statement or false? And I was really surprised. Actually, I was reverse, I was expecting reverse way. But uh, because generally uh, the content of this channel only those students used to see who prepare J or prepare Olympiad. Serious preparation students. It's not just simply uh, for the jokes and all preparation they are not doing. And I was really surprised that this is the answer they are giving. And one place when we got this kind of the data, then immediately on, I said that, okay, let's put on the telegram channel where the so many people are there. There maybe sometimes we'll get the answers. And we, uh, we given one more option, ki, we cos theta greater than one, I given, here I given yes and no. But here I gave the three option, ki yes, sometimes never. And there also you can see, never is the so many people are there. In fact, now some people are thinking, okay, tell me what is the answer? Yes, cos theta can be greater than one. Yes, cos theta can be greater than one. I will prove it right now. Cos theta will be greater than one. But before that, where the misconception get started? Misconception get started because from childhood, childhood means from ninth class onwards, we used to study this inequality, cos theta always lie between minus 1 and 1. Sometimes everybody seen this inequality. I am not saying that nobody seen. Maximum people seen this. But with this one extra condition is there, which people used to ignore. For theta belongs to real number. This line you have to be careful. The purpose of making the video just to teach you, just to aware you, ki whenever you are reading any particular inequality, equation or condition, always use, check that ki that condition is valid when. So that is the theta belongs to real number. Then only it's valid. Otherwise, it's not valid. This means ki this is valid only when theta is real. If theta is not real, this will not be valid. So be careful. Understand? So, when cos theta greater than 1, let's try to prove this one. Okay? To understand the proof of this, we should understand the cos theta value. Cos theta always equal to 1 minus theta square by 2 factorial plus theta power 4 by 4 factorial minus theta power 6 by 6 factorial. Factorial, I guess, all of you know n factorial is nothing but 1 into 2 into 3 up to n, right? And and now you've understood pattern, minus theta square plus theta power 4 minus theta power 6, so next will be plus theta power 8 by 8 factorial and this will continue up to infinity, right? This is the value of the cos theta in term of theta because game is going to done with the theta only. So I wrote cos theta in term of theta. Same way sin theta is there, tan theta also you can write it. Everything you can write in term of theta. Now, imagine I am assuming let theta equal to ki, where k is pure real number. Again, I am saying the condition which is writing in the bracket that is very important. k belongs to real number. Why? Because if k is real and i, i all of you know, it is a root of minus 1. ki is always pure. This is called as the pure imaginary number. This is called as pure imaginary number because for real I know ki if theta is real cos theta will be less than 1 or equal to 1. But if theta is not real, I am taking as a ki, pure imaginary. Let us put it here. So cos ki will be equal to what? 1 minus ki whole square by 2 factorial plus ki power 4 by 4 factorial minus ki power 6 by 6 factorial plus so on. So your cos ki will be equal to 1 and k square 
and i square. Remember, i square is minus 1. i power 4, 1. i power 3, uh, i power 6 will be minus 1. i power 8 will be 1. Means whenever i power is an even number, if it is multiple of 2, <coughs> sorry, multiple of 4, it will be 1. But if it is multiple, it is an even number, but not multiple of 4, it will be minus 1. So, this I hope basic i value you know. So, this i square minus 1, so this will become plus k square by 2 factorial, plus k power 4 by 4 factorial, plus k power 6 by 6 factorial, because i power 6 will be minus 1, plus so. Now, k is the pure real number, so 100 percent sure this quantity is a positive quantity. This quantity is a positive quantity, that means cos k i will be 1 plus a positive number, a positive number. Understood my point? The, a positive number, I am assuming k is the belongs to real number, k is the real number, I am not taking k is 0, k is not 0. So, a positive number, the 1 plus positive number will be always bigger than 1. It will be always bigger than 1, am I right? So, cos k i, I can say bigger than 1. So, remember cos theta can be greater than 1, cos theta can be greater than 1, there is no doubt about it, cos theta can be greater than 1 if theta belongs to pure imaginary number, pure imaginary number. So, now onwards whenever there are anywhere you are coming confusion, ki cos theta is what? Cos theta is always less than or equal to 1, condition theta should be real. If theta is not real, it is a pure imaginary, so cos theta will be greater than 1. I hope it is made clear. The purpose of making this video to understand you one thing, ki the condition which is given everywhere along the formula, that condition is play very important role and you always uh, consider on that one. Right? So, I hope it is clear to everybody. Thank you very much.